Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everybody. It's me, your host, Muhammad Mitwelli, and today with a skill for a six discussing the adverbs. But before we discuss that, we have to realize the problems with adjectives and adverbs. Many different problems with adjectives and adverbs are possible in reading expression questions on the TOEFL test. To identify these problems, you must first be able to recognize adjectives and adverbs. Often, adverbs are formed by adding ly to adjectives and these ly adverbs are very easy to recognize. The following examples show adverbs that are formed by adding ly to adjectives. So here's the adjective, recent, recently, public, publicly, and evident, evidently. However, there are many adverbs in English that do not end in ly. These adverbs can be recognized from their meaning. They can describe when something happened, often, soon, later, how something happens fast hard well or where something happens here there nowhere there are three skills involving adjectives and adverbs that will help you on reading questions on TOEFL test number one know when to use adjectives and adverbs number two using adjectives rather than adverbs after linking verbs and three positioning adjectives and adverbs correctly here is scale 46. Use basic adjectives and adverbs correctly. Sometimes in written expression questions on the TOEFL test, adjectives are used in place of adverbs, or adverbs are used in place of adjectives. Adjectives and adverbs have very different uses. Adjectives have only one job. They describe nouns or pronouns. Like, she's a beautiful woman. So, beautiful describing the woman. She is beautiful. Beautiful is describing the pronoun she. In the first example, the adjective beautiful describes the noun woman. In the second example, the adjective beautiful describes the pronoun she. Adverbs do three different things. They describe verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. She sings beautifully. Beautifully describes the way she sings. She is beautifully dressed woman. So beautifully describing the way she's dressed and dressed is adjective describing woman she is a truly beautifully dressed woman truly is adverb describing the adverb beautiful beautifully and beautifully is adverb describing the adjective dressed and dressed is adjective describing the noun woman in the first example the adverb beautifully describes the verb sings in the second example the adverb beautifully describes the adjective dressed which describe the noun woman in the third example the adverb truly describes the adverb beautifully, which describes the adjective dressed, which in return describes the noun woman. The following are examples of incorrect sentences as they might appear on TOEFL test. They were seated at largely table. The child talked quick to her mother. We read an extreme long story. In the first example, the adverb largely is incorrect because the adjective large is needed to describe the noun table. In the second example, the adjective quick is incorrect because the adverb quickly is needed to describe the verb talked. In the last example, the adjective extreme is incorrect because the adverb extremely is needed to describe the adjective long. The following chart outlines the important information that you should remember about the basic use of adjectives and adverbs adjectives adjectives describe noun or pronoun while adverbs describe verbs adjectives or other adverbs exercise 46 each of the following sentences has at least one adjective or adverb circle the adjectives and the adverbs and label them draw arrows to the words they describe then indicate if the sentences are correct c or incorrect i 3. He was driving an expensively sports car. His subject was driving his verb, expensively adverb, sports car, this is the noun, and expensively does not have the ability to describe noun, so it's incorrect. It should be expensive. 4. There is a special program on television this evening. There is subject and verb, special is adjective describing the noun program and that's it it's correct five she was choosing 
for the leading part because she sings so well. She subject was choosing is passive verb, leading part, leading is adjective describing part. Because as a connector, she subject sings is a verb and so is an adverb describing the adverb well and the adverb well is describing the verb sings and it's correct. Six. The car wasn't complete ready at three. The car subject wasn't is the verb complete is adjective ready is adjective two adjectives can't work because they don't describe anything so it should be wasn't completely ready this complete should be changed into adverb because it's followed by adjective adjective cannot describe another adjective so six is incorrect seven it was difficult to believe that what we read in the newspaper was a truly story its subject was is verb difficult describing the uh, pronoun it truly is adverb should describe a verb but there is no verb here so they have a story it should be true story so this is incorrect eight points will be subtracted for each incorrect answer question point subject will be subtracted is passive verb incorrect is adjective describing the word answered which is already another adjective and answer describing question but this is wrong because incorrect should be adverb it should be incorrectly because adverb can describe adjective while adjective can describe noun so it is incorrect nine the production manager quality requests a completely report of the terribly incident the production manager's subject Quietly is adverb describing the verb requested and it's correct. A completely is adverb describing the noun report which is incorrect. Of the terribly adverb describing the noun incident which is also incorrect. So completely should be complete and terribly should be terrible in order to be correct. Nine is wrong. Ten. The children finished their homework quickly so that they could watch television. Children is subject, finished this verb. Quickly is adverb describing the way they finished the homework. And it's correct. No problem in 10. As you saw the way we analyzed the sentence by just spotting the adverb and the adjective and trying to know to what they refer in order to know if the right or wrong. Just do some other exercises and you'll be great. Work hard until I see you in another skill. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.